Hey guys, welcome to the 30 paintings in 30 days project. So every day of this month, at least 30 days of this month, we are gonna create a little painting a day and we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna experiment mostly with watercolor and gouache and um, let's get to painting and I will see you at the end. Okay guys, welcome back to 30 and 30 painting number eight. If you are watching this, on YouTube and you're not in Patreon and you got the talking version. I don't know how you manage that, <laughs> but because it's unlisted, but welcome. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please do leave them down below. And if you are in Patreon, you can of course message me over there and uh, let's get started, shall we? I of course have my inspiration book that way, just off camera. I've got my paints up there. I've got a palette, which I need to clean. Hold on. Grab a oh, baby wipe. Let's get that cleaned up. Sort of. Okay. So I have an idea for a painting based on my inspiration book. So we are going to see what happens with that. I've got my usual suspect brushes. I've got my um, FX effects brush, um, my, by creative mark, my number nine, um, scrubby brush thing for brushing out the gel pen and whiteout pen when I need to. I've got a number one round and a number four round and a half inch flat. So let's get started with the half inch flat. Let's grab some Prussian blue. Ooh, excuse me. If you can hear my stomach is gurgling. I did eat lunch. Holy cow. Um, we're going to grab some buff titanium and some water, thin it out with just a bit of water, and I'm going to just okay. I'm gonna grab some water. I would say clean water, except my water is disgusting. Be glad you can't see it on camera. I do need to clean my water bowl out again. So I'm just, as always, I prefer my style of painting, whether I'm using acrylic or watercolor, is generally to do the background first. I don't want to have to, if I can help it, go back and touch up the background. I find that really aggravating. So I am going to paint the background. And then we're going to give it a dry. And I may take my rag. Generally, I have a little piece of sponge. Let's see. I do have my little piece of sea sponge. So you can take your little piece of sponge and push it into the wet paint. And it's going to give you sort of a texture and it'll, it'll lift up some of the pigment. Now we're going to give that a dry. Okay, right away we're going to go in with our whiteout pen. I know that's like unusual. I don't usually go in with it this soon. Um, and we're going to put some down. And then we're going to have the whiteout pen in one hand and the brush we were scrubbing things out with in the other hand. And before things get too dry, spreading that whiteout pen out a bit and just lightening up that background. One of the things you'll notice with my painting is I get so lost in the process of painting and enjoying uh, the painting process so much, especially with watercolor, I forget to stop and leave white space. But we're mixed media artists at heart and I don't believe in being a purist about too many things in life. This is one of them. Um, if, in fact, maybe not anything in life. So um, don't be afraid to get in there with your whiteout pen, your gel pen, and put that highlight or texture back into the background that you forgot to leave. And I'm going to zoom in right about here. Hopefully you can um, see that. It just, it's very subtle, um, but perfect. So let's give that a dry and I'll be right back. Okay, we're going to go in with our uh, larger round brush, the number four. Um, I'm going to just use the blue that's on here and I'm going to add some Van Dyke brown, which is a nice dark brown to it, which will gray up the brown a bit, which is fine. And I'm going to
Now the whiteout pen will resist the paint a little bit. It's totally fine. If you're really concerned about that, then you might want to like put some pencil lines on there first so that you aren't putting that whiteout pen where you want to later put color. Um, I'm good with it, so. All right, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of, what color? Maybe the Moon Glow. That's a dark purple, purpley gray color. It's a little bit of the unexpected. Okay. <clears throat> now we're gonna um, take, I'm gonna start with this gray color and the inspiration painting, uh, I should say page I'm looking at has um, photos that I've taken over the years of different, different places around the country um, where I seem to end up at the beach somewhere looking at birds trying to get pictures of wildlife, which if you follow me on my vlog, you know I'm supremely bad at. Because, you know, I just seem to be horrible at it. Um, but there's a couple of these photos where the birds are in silhouette, so we're not going to, again, try to get too crazy with painting them realistically because that's not what I do. I'm not um, waiting for the colors to dry, <clears throat> excuse me, dry or get in there with the dryer to dry them before I add the other color because I sort of want this purple and um, grayish brown color to, to sort of blend, so. Let's give that a dry. We're gonna try the gel pen, although if you've been following this video, you know that gel pen doesn't usually work too well. Sometimes it does, but not generally. It's doing okay. We don't, again, wanna draw too many details. I just wanna And actually, I'm really wanting to, let's see, where is my favorite pen? Plain old Bic Crystal Pen. Love this pen. They're cheap. They work well over most surfaces. They don't bleed. They pair with watercolor very well. That's a cute little painting. Is it a masterpiece? No. Do I like it? Yes, it makes me happy. All right, so let's take our tape off. So I want you to think of these little paintings that we're doing as uh, little studies, which is a word I was trying to think of in one of the other episodes that I was filming on this, and I couldn't think of it, because you know, Corona bring. <laughs> but these are just little studies uh, experiments with painting with maybe a new medium for you if you haven't tried watercolor before, maybe just getting reacquainted with a medium if you've done watercolor but not recently, um, trying new color combinations, new compositions, and um, just having fun. So there we go, a cute little painting of some birds sitting on a fence, I love it. 
So that's what we have for painting number eight. Sorry. Um, if you'd like to support the free content here on Facebook or in the, fa uh, here on Facebook, holy cow. If you'd like to support the free content here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups, I certainly would appreciate that. You can of course join Patreon. We do have YouTube membership here for a, a small fee. And, um, also I have an Etsy shop and I have, um, PayPal tip jar and all that stuff. So check out the video description. Relevant links will also be down there. And, uh, yeah, don't forget the most important things. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Do share your work with me. I would love to see what you're doing. That's it for now. See you later. Bye, guys.